Hey, Travis kiddos. I have this week's curriculum story um, for you. This week's interactive read aloud is called Anansi's Sons. It is a tale from Africa. This week's vocabulary words in the story are distance, swiftly, respect, decision, and inspire. So when we get to those words, we'll pause to talk about them. If you already know what they mean, great. If not, see if you can tell from the, t uh, the context in the sentences, um, and we'll go over the words. So Anansi's sons, what are your special skills? How can you help people with them? Long ago, before the moon rose high in the sky at night, Anansi the spider had six sons. The first son could see problems from far away, so he was called Sea Trouble. The second son was able to build roads by cutting through thick forests, so he was called Road Builder. The third son could drink up mighty rivers, so he was called River Drinker. The fourth son could quickly catch animals, so he was called Game Catcher. The fifth son could throw a stone a long distance to hit a mark, so he was called Stone Thrower. So we have distance there. The fifth son could throw a stone a long distance to hit a mark. Distance um, is the space between two places or how far apart they are. So the house is a long distance from the train station. And the stone thrower could throw a stone a long distance. The sixth son was big and round, so he was called Cushion. One day, Anansi went away on a long trip. When he didn't return a few weeks later, his sons became concerned. That means they were worried. The sun called Sea Trouble swiftly climbed to the top of a very tall tree and looked around for his father. Swiftly. If you move swiftly, you move quickly. So Sea Trouble moved swiftly, moved very quickly up the tree. Suddenly, he spotted Anansi and called out to his brothers. I see where our father is. He has fallen into a river, and he is being swallowed by a huge green fish. Then the son called Road Builder swung into action. Follow me, he cried. He quickly built a road that led to the river. The other five brothers followed after him. Next, it was time for the son called River Drinker to act. Stand back, he shouted. Then he drank huge gulps of water until the river was dry. The son called Game Catcher ran to the green fish on the river bottom. He cut open the fish and Anansi jumped out. Just then, a hungry hawk flew down from the sky. It grabbed Anansi with its sharp claws and flew up toward the clouds. The sun called Stone Thrower acted quickly. He picked up a stone and threw it at the hawk. Crack! The stone hit the hawk and it dropped Anansi. Down, down, down he fell. I will save him, the sun called Cushion called. So Cushion stretched out on the ground. Plop. Anansi landed on soft cushion and he was not hurt. That night, Anansi said to his sons, You ha have been very brave and I respect each one of you. When you respect someone, you think very well of that person and are likely to pay attention to him or her. Um, so we respect our elders. Um, you respect your teacher and listen when they ask you to stop talking. And you respect your parents. And um, you look up to them and you listen to them. So uh, Anansi respects each one of his sons. And he said, thank you, my sons. The following night, Anansi was walking in the forest when he saw a beautiful shining sphere. I will take this shining ball home and give it to one of my sons, he thought. It will be a fine reward for the son who did the most to save my life. Anansi took the ball home and headed home. 
But then he realized what a difficult decision he had to make, since each of his sons deserved a reward. So he had a difficult decision. When you make a decision, you choose what you will do. You have to decide between different options. He decided to ask the sky god, Nayame, for his advice. Anansi explained to Nayame what each son had done to save his life. The sky god asked to meet Anansi's sons. So Anansi brought Nayame to his home and gathered his sons. I will give this shining sphere to the son who did the most to save my life, Anansi said. Nayame will make the decision. Then Nayame spoke. I believe Sea Trouble should get the shining spear, since he was the one who first discovered that his father was in trouble. He then presented it to Sea Trouble. However, Sea Trouble replied, I cannot accept the shining spear because I did not help the most. So Nayame present, next presented the shining spear to Road Builder, who gave the same answer. As each son, in turn, replied the same way, Nayame smiled. Just as he had guessed, they had all helped equally. I will place the shining spear in the sky, where I hope it will inspire all creatures on earth to work together, he said. Inspire. When you inspire a person, you cause that person to act or feel in a certain way. People who are brave inspire others to be brave. And um, Nayame hopes that this shining sphere will inspire creatures on earth to work together. So Nayame took the beautiful sphere up into the sky, and to this day, that is where the moon has remained. The end. So that is a nice little tale from Africa um, about the moon. Uh, it is a fiction story. Um, and the vocabulary words again were distance, swiftly, respect, decision, and inspire. See if you remember what those words mean and if you can use them each in a sentence.